Hey guys, it's Alan here. Welcome to my channel. It's Monday, so it's Mini Monday Madness time. Uh, I'm doing a Mini Monday couple going through a cherry blossom kind of, <laughs> uh, you know, park, whatever I'm going to call it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So like I said, I go over the step by step. I show you how I draw the couple and the little cherry blossom walkway. Um, also, if you're a Patreon member, you can download the Traceable. Uh, Patreon is the place where I have ad-free videos, Traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays, live stream on the top tier once a month, and a download from me. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. Um, you can check it out in a second right up here. Boop. So if you have any questions, again, leave in the comment section. Without further ado, let's get painting. Okay, so first let's just do a go over the sketch. I mean, like I said, the Patreon members have the download, but I'm just gonna sketch out kind of like what I'm doing here. I'll do a little bit bigger than the three inch square. So here's your square, right? Then from here, you're gonna think of the road is gonna come here curving, right, curve. And I'm gonna have a tree, see? So it goes tree like that, and just have the branches coming out, up and over. We're gonna be just uh, putting wet and wet and over here. And then we have just another tree here. I have a tree in this, you know, coming through over here too, like that's you can't see in the picture so just gonna put some branches out here coming in because you know we're cropping off like a small vignette and a little tree back here and I have like a little couple here so to draw the couple it's gonna be sm just put, just, we're just putting trunks in here like this here just little tree trunks don't worry about if they really look like great trees because we're gonna just put a lot of wet and wet in here just showing you like just basically put in the road and back here is the background the greens gonna end back here just put a line back here kind of curving downward so we just have the trees like that and you know this would be all the cherry blossoms <laughs> and then we'll put a little couple in so think of like you know a triangle just like kind of a, a little triangle kind of like that for her the girl the little dot for her head and the legs and then the guy will just be like rectangle and little legs and the head see so again kind of like a curvy there's a little head little legs and the guy can be like the rectangle little legs the head well maybe make him a little more normal than that put arm out here I gotta be so small and you know minor that I'll put little shadows you're not gonna worry about it and you can see me paint it anyway. So I have a three inch square, 100% cotton cold pressed paper of Arsh. I taped it down with just some scotch tape on a thick cardboard just to hold it in place. There's nothing, there's no reason you have to tape it down, but I just do it to hold it in place. I have water jars up here, you can't see. I'll be using mostly my Princeton 8, and then I might be using the floor long round, the Velvet Touch series. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just like losing my voice again. Um, so paints and a, a paper towel here. So I'll be using a, a bright lo bright lo rose luminous um, Holbein W370 um, paint along with some magenta. I have my cadmium yellow deep. I'll be using some peacock blue as usual to make my greens. Um, I have the Prussian blue up here, neutral tint for an umber here all that. I activate my paints with just using a spray bottle and just spray them just like that. It activates them. So like you see the little sketch I did, I have the trees kind of all sketched in and now I'm just going to take my Princeton 8. I'm going wrong. I'm going to mix up some pink. This should be fairly easy guys. So I've got the bright rose. It is very bright. I'm gonna put some more water over here. I'm gonna add my cadmium deep. And it'd be nice to have a little bit of like rose with the pink, I mean, excuse me, the yellow. So you're gonna bleed in some like blush tones or yellow tones is the blush color. So I mix the yellow with the pink, get a really pretty blush tone. 
um, just to balance out the pink. It's not going to be all this right pink. Otherwise, it looks too pinky. <laughs> you know. And then we're going to make some greens too. So we've got Cabernet Deep here and Peacock Blue. Makes a nice bright green. Gonna add some more yellow. Can use that same green and mix it over here and then add some Prussian blue to it so it gets darker. Some burnt umber, more blue. Gonna go back in here and make this a little bit less watery. I'm still very bright. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have our little square. By the way, I always have like three jars of water because one's gonna be like where you just dip in all that. See, it's all colored already and I've changed out. And then I have a clean, two clean ones. So we got the trees all kind of sketched out. We're just gonna take the, the see how wet and watery this rose is? It's too watery, just kind of tap it on a paper towel. Just kind of just kind of just tap it like this with the tip of our brush. You know? Ooh, wet. We're just gonna have fun tapping the color. I'm gonna leave a little white around in this section. So be conscious of like tapping and leaving some white there. But the rest we're gonna have fun with. Just tapping this nice pink in here. And we're gonna be putting in some green and some blush. See? Look at that. Woo! The color we mixed up here. See how pretty it is when you just mix in the color there? You don't want it all so pink pinky. Pink pinky. I don't know if I can even say that word, but see I'm just kind of tapping in. This is really simple, guys. You just draw these trees, which I showed you, and you're just gonna take in the brush. Tap, 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 grabbing some, I'm grabbing some concentrated color. See that? I'll be going back in here and adding some more bright, I mean, sorry, the lighter pink. And the trees. It's a cherry blossom. This part will be green. This part, the road could be like a nice beige gray. We could add some blossoms that have fallen on the ground. At this point we can add a little bit of yellow kind of going up in here. I'm just taking the tip of my brush, kind of just putting in some yellow up in here. Let me zoom in so you can see better. So I just took some yellow, just tap some yellow, that um, blush we made, I'm just kind of bleed that in. Grab some yellow on the tip of your brush up here. Don't be afraid to put in a lot of color. Like, it doesn't have to be all pinky pinky. Kind of becomes uninteresting. Gonna add some more brighter pink up in here. The lighter pink in the background would be the trees that are the way in the background, and then we've got these brighter ones. You can kind of like form some actual blossoms if you wanted to. Right now it's super wet, so you can't really do that. Just gonna go in, still tapping with my brush. This is the fun part. Just tapping. As it's starting to dry, you can tap in a little deeper color. And go back in and add some blush tones. See, I'm still kind of keeping that white in here. more pink. I kind of can't see my tree branches anymore, which is fine. I'm just going to paint them in there. Going to add some more bright pink up this way. More pink up this way. You can make it as bright as you want. All right, I'm going to let the pink settle for a little bit. I'm gonna start working on the green. We mix up that green, remember? Let's put some of that pretty green and around by the road. 
like that. And then back here, try not to get this particular, you can get the guy, <laughs> paint over the guy, but don't paint over the girl if you can. And you can make her coat any color. I'm trying to be very careful like not to paint over them. See, a little scene. I'm going to add some more green here. So this is very light. I'm going to go back and add some of that green that I mixed up. It's hard to show you both. I'm going to zoom back out so you can try to see some of that. Just putting in the green that we mixed up. There's the road. I kind of can't uncover this road part over here. There. Oops. Get in between them a little bit. All right. And I can put some more green back here. Now we have that dark green. I don't know if I necessarily would want to bleed it. It might take a little bit of my tip of my paintbrush. Let's see. And add some dark back here. I might want to make it more concentrated. So I'll take the Prussian blue. And I'll grab some yellow. A little bit of burnt umber. Which means it's minimal water. You can barely see. i grab more burnt umber. Blue. Grab some of this green. Mix it up. Okay, it's much darker now. And you can bleed. So I'm just taking these little marks, tip of my brush. Bleeding in some darker greens back here in the background. Gonna add some of this burnt umber. Just tapping in little colors here. All right, let's do the road. Um, take some burnt umber right here. Grab some yellow, mix them together. Maybe even some neutral tint. Uh, it's looking a little too green. <laughs> My brush was dirty. Sorry, guys. So I want like a nice, pretty, pale beige color. Get the burnt umber. I'll add some of that blush color and see. That's better. So I took the blush that we mixed up and I added to the burnt umber and I'll water that down. And that's perfect. And I'll just stick that right in here. Got this nice pretty beige tone. We're gonna have to let that dry before we put in some other tones, but if you want to make it a little bit darker. I would add a little more brown. I'm trying to keep it fairly light though. All right, everything's kind of really wet now, so we don't want to like start playing around. If you still want to go back in while it's still wet, add a little more of these blush tones or pinks to bleed. I would do that before it dries. I'm going to go back in. This actually dry over here, which is good. I'm going to tap in some much darker pinks and blushes. This one's still very wet over here. This one's fairly dry. So I can just kind of like tap in to make it look more like little blossoms. Little rounded blossom, see? Just the tip of my brush. Tap, 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 tap. You can do some bigger ones. Just teeny weeny ones. Just tap, 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 tap. Just like that. one's still very wet. And just tap that in. So you want to just keep doing this until you build up the colors that you want. If you don't want it that light, it's fine. 
Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back and we're going to start painting the tree part in. And some shadows and then the road and we're going to hone in the, the trees at the end. Okay, so now it's dry. We'll just take, make a nice blackish brown. So we've got burnt umber here. I'll just put that over here. Mix with the neutral tint. It's like a nice blackish brown. I wouldn't make it too loose. Just add a teeny bit of water so you can move it around. You want to keep it pretty concentrated. And we'll just start putting in our tree. So you start with just putting like the, the trunk part in. And then just start putting in some branches. Oh, there's a little wet there still. Goodness, I thought that was dry. All right, let me fix that and come back. <laughs> the magic of television. No, <laughs> it's fixed. Okay, so we're just taking the... T I don't even know if I'm new going to use my four. My number, my Princeton 8 is so new that the tip is really pointy. So I don't think I need to use a four. If yours is not, then... Or whatever brush you have. Just start putting some branches in here. Coming out. Little tiny ones. And we've got our tree under here. Putting some branches coming out. You kind of like, you connect the ones in the bottom and then kind of just space out the ones. I'll show you what I mean. So you don't have to show them connecting and kind of space them out here. See, they're not connecting to this piece. Some you can show and some you don't have to show. And then there's some this tree kind of here kind of bending this way you know I've lost some of my my pencil so it's fine just make up some trees paint one here using that dark black color and I can put one kind of like over here. I have like branches from like, you know, there'll be trees in the foreground coming in from the side, going out this way, coming in. Break those up too. See how I broke up the branches? I have another one. Coming in from the side. Kind of like you're enveloped into, you're walking through the cherry blossom road, I guess you call it. See how I'm just making these branches kind of broken up? Little ones breaking through the trees. I can put some teeny ones back here, trees. We're walking down the blast the cherry blossom tree road. Walking down the road. Put another one back here. You can put in as many as you like. It's like they were in a like a botanical garden with tons of trees or something like that playing around with that. I was trying to play around with the road. I've seen so many pictures of where they have these enveloped cherry blossom trees and then I wanted to do a road and the couple thing I think is pretty easy. You just they're so far away and you don't have to do super details but if you want to do this for like a, a anniversary card, a wedding card, Valentine's card, you could probably try and make it specific to your person. Maybe there's a particular color coat that they wear I'm just kind of loosely sticking in these branches. Maybe make them a little bit darker. Peeking through that one. This tree is the more predominant tree, the one right here on the left. Let's give him presents and add some nice big branches. Okay. The ones in the background can fade a little bit. All right, 
So then we have that darker greens we mixed up. Maybe add a little brown to that. And we can start to put in some shadows. Just kind of like that. Wiggle like a little line, some, some shadows coming down the hill. Shadow. Some shadows back here. If you hear that noise, it's so windy, my studio. You know, there's that storms, wind storms. We get the wind storms. The south got the snow, which is crazy. We get the wind and rain. The shadow. So obviously we have a shadow here. Why did it stop in the road? We can't make it stop in the road. We're going to add deeper brown. So we had that color we mixed. Just add a little burnt umber to it. And just kind of continue the shadow on the road. Do a little tree shadows. So you want to make them more of a blue tone, ultramarine blue. But I would continue like making the color itself. So I can put a little blue in here, see how that looks. Yeah. Play around with it. All right, so for the couple, the guy can just have like a black coat on, brown. Let me just try brown. Could loosen up the burnt umber. Could even be blue. Maybe I'll make him a color. I think I'll make him a color. So he stands out a little bit. So I have ultramarine blue here, but I'll mix it with a little bit of brown. I'm just gonna put that little blue coat. Ooh. See, wet, I just kind of keep picking it up and tapping my tip onto the paper towel. Gonna have to let that dry. For the girl, the coat could be pink, could be yellow. What color would the coat be? Beige. Could be kind of pinkish, beige, blushy kind of tone. I'm gonna put that yellow in with my blush tone. Maybe add a little burnt umber. Very wet. So I don't want to put their little arms and head and legs yet because the color is going to bleed. So we're going to wet this dry and come back. Okay, so it's dry. We can go in and put the little heads and stuff. <laughs> you just take the neutral tint. Just a little. See a little head. And then the legs that come down. They could be a color. Mine's a little wet, so I'm going to make it a little less wet. Just two little sticks coming down and attach. This one's got a little too much water. Less water, more paint. There we go. Now I could lighten up the coat a little more. I can grab some white gouache and kind of just mix it with that color that I had. Lighten it up a little bit. Oh, see the paint. There we go. It wasn't dry, so that's okay. I can go back and fix our head in a second. Make it a little more opaque. And then I'll go back in with the neutral tint. I'm going to have to wait till that dries and fix her legs and fix his legs. And his little head. <laughs> it's so funny to draw little people. There's a little head. There. Right? 
and you take the paintbrush and just do two little sticks down at the legs. I'm going to outline the jacket a little bit and then I get a little detailed. You guys can do the same. And then I put a little shadow from them, kind of going to the side. The brown. See, they've made a shadow. Continue the tree shadow. And this one here. Get that green. I'm just fussing this this point. I'm adding in some darker greens back here. Still trying to keep it light in here. So I can go back in and add some bright yellow greens right in here. I just added some yellow to that green that I had before. Just keeping this section a little bit light and bright. You can do that in here too. Now, you could put some fallen cherry blossoms. Um, you know, I'd wait till it dries. I'm going to go back in here, by the way. I'm going to go back and add just more brighter color where I want it. See, maybe under here. Just tap it in. Just play around with this. You can add more pink down here. If you want to get darker pink, I would take some magenta. Kind of put that in. See how dark that is compared to the other pink. Kind of push that around. It's more intense, right? You can put some of that over here. If you don't want it that intense, don't do that. Go back over some of these colors. The blush too. If you want the colors to have a nice variety. And like I said, once you feel it, it's dry. You can add like fallen blossoms. See pink. Right on the little green. Because, you know, they would fall. You could take some your pink and add it to the gouache. Then you get the nice light ones. Right here. And the light, bright green sections. You could put them to the road, too, a little bit. Why not? See, I'm just adding some nice pink. Pink, pink, pink everywhere. Kind of got some more bright color. I'm just going to keep playing around until you feel that it is what you want it to be. Another technique, which I've talked about, when you kind of roll the brush dry brush, kind of roll it to get the color you want. I'm still kind of leaving that white section again like I should. Yeah, and adding some yellow tones. Just And you could add some nice pretty green ones in here too. Because it wouldn't just be pinks, there would be some greens up in here. So I'm just kind of bleeding in some green. And just, you know, like all these little sections in here. It would look kind of fake. There wasn't any green in there. Yeah. Just play around with some green. And like I said, just keep adding and adding until you feel like, okay, I've got it, I've got it. Just want to leave that white, like I said. Can add a little bit more pink back here. a sea of trees. I do want a little bit darker. On, I'm sitting up to try and see back over in here. A little more pink. Are they walking into the sea of pink? Alright, I'm getting a little crazy. So like I said, you can just highlight the girl's coat. I'll add a little gouache. Oops, a little too much gloss. I'm gonna get back in there and I'll fix it with the brown and the yellow. Don't wanna to fuss too much. 
All right. We are almost done. I'm going to remove the tape. Okay, mini Monday. Cherry Blossom. Little couple. And that's that. I, I think I might go back in and add little darker tones over in here. But you guys get the idea, you know. Just go play around with. You know, when you stand up and say, ah, oh, is it dark enough? I don't know. It looks a little too bright. I might go back in. And play around with just making this section a little bit darker. Already it has more depth, you see. It was looking a little too bright. But now I think it's achieved what I'm looking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Mini Monday Madness tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Have fun playing around with the, the couple here. <laughs> you can make the coat darker if you want, lighter if you want. I might play around with it a little bit more. So take care, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you soon.